you guys have been asking for it from so long and i was not able to but that doesn't mean that i forgot my promise to deliver a complete course to you to learn salesforce development here it comes on the coming monday june 14th of 2021 we'll start uploading the complete salesforce development course which you guys have been waiting for from so long yeah! i apologize for the delay but finally we are coming up with it and in this course uh, i'll be teaching you literally everything that you need to learn uh, in order to be a salesforce developer whether it be apex whether it be a uh, visual force or uh, apis and integrations or something else everything will be covered into this particular course uh, and it will all be for free to you guys on my youtube channel and as well as on the shreesharma.com website uh, as well with along with the notes and some assignments that you uh, need for that for the same and this salesforce development course is created in such a way that uh, you'll be able to learn salesforce development from scratch whether you are a student uh, who just want to learn salesforce development to build your career on uh, in salesforce or if you're uh, if you're a professional who's already working into the industry and has got an experience uh in like into working into some other technologies or some other programming languages and you want to switch uh, your career from that technology to salesforce this is the go to course for you in this course we'll be covering the following chapters number 1 apex basics in this uh chapter we'll be understanding the basics of apex so uh, basics as if like data types and stuff like that uh number 2 apex oops concepts and in this chapter we'll be understanding how the oops concepts work uh, as far as it is concerned into apex and when when we talk about salesforce development i think i mean half of the part is uh, or even more than half of the part is uh, covered by apex only and we have we are focusing heavily on to uh, apex uh, into this particular course the third chapter that we'll be covering in this course is going to be soql and sosl and in this we'll learn that how to actually write down a query for a particular requirement to fetch data from the database uh whether it be sql or sosl the fourth chapter that we'll be covering up is going to be database statements uh, not database statements dml statements and database class methods uh, with the help of which we'll be able to uh, manipulate the data which is already there into the database or even uh, the data which is not there basically what i mean by that is uh if you want to insert some new records into the database if you want to delete some records from the database if you want to do anything related to the database uh you need to learn dml uh dml statements and database method uh, database class method database classes methods and that's something that we'll be covering over here the fifth chapter that we'll be covering in this course is going to be apex triggers for a lot of people out there apex triggers is a nightmare like they all uh, avoid apex triggers as much as they can uh, but it is something which is a very very important topic in order to be a salesforce developer and one who can master this topic can go can reach can actually reach heights so if you really want to reach heights uh, make sure to learn apex triggers from this particular course the seventh chapter is going to be apex testing the eighth chapter is going to be the governor limits and the, uh, and batch apex the ninth chapter is going to be visual force in which we'll understand that how we can create custom ui into salesforce uh, and yeah what are different controllers type of controllers which are there and uh, how to actually use them with visual force tenth chapter is going to be apis and integration in which we'll understand that how we can uh, create apis inside salesforce and how we can integrate salesforce with any other system or any other software or application or an application the last but definitely not the least chapter is going to be the deployment process if you have learned that how to actually develop an application or how to actually write down a code inside a uh, salesforce now your job is to actually deploy all of that code or that application into the production environment and how you need to do that and what are the things that you need to take care of while doing it is something that we'll be talking about in this particular chapter so this basically covers almost everything that one needs to learn in order to be a salesforce developer and uh, this course also focuses on to uh, preparing for the platform developer one certification so if you're going to take this course seriously you will be able to crack the salesforce platform developer one certification exam easily i am not giving any guarantee to you it all depends on you that how hard you are working for it but yeah this is it the exact same course that uh, you need to learn the concepts uh, or to learn the topics which will come in the salesforce platform w1 certification exam and that is something that should be very important for you now what are you waiting for go and share this information with your friends and colleagues who actually want to build their career on to salesforce but are not getting enough resources to learn it 
this is the best time to build your career into salesforce uh, especially in india because there's a huge spike in the demand and uh, there's not enough people into the ecosystem so if there's anyone who wants to switch their career from any other technology or any other domain into salesforce this is the best time and up till now even if they wanted to learn salesforce there were not enough resources uh, with the help of which they could learn it to this particular depth but uh, with the help of this particular course they'll be able to learn it from scratch to a level where they'll be able to face interviews and uh, apart from that they'll be able to even crack the platform developer one certification exam so share it and if you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up comment your thoughts concerns feelings and uh, feedbacks if you have any and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here with the notification bell icon so you'll be the first one to get notified whenever we post a new video on our channel now see you in the next video till then bye bye take care